time to get some common sense on taxes from Craig Bolanos, the CEO and founder of Wealth Management Group. Craig, the best time to think clearly about taxes is when that deadline is not looming. And one way you lower tax bills is with tax exempt buckets. Tell us about those buckets. Fighting your single largest expense, which is income taxes, is mission critical when it comes to getting retired and staying retired. So what are examples of these tax exempt buckets that people can and probably should be using? Well, the first one is you know so simple and it's eloquent. We've talked about it time and time again. It's making sure that money is going into that Roth IRA. And I know what some people are thinking. They're saying, I make too much money to contribute to a Roth IRA. No, you don't. There is nothing that precludes you from doing what's called a non-deductible IRA with an immediate conversion. That's called the backdoor Roth. Number two, this is not for everybody, but maybe business owners in particular, there are some advantages at times to cash value life insurance that can allow you to structure what I call some level of a tax-free income in the future, courtesy of loan provisions. That's just a technique that some, especially those who are business owners, can take a look at. You know, number three on my list would be this, not all capital gains are created equal. And for those who find themselves in the lowest marginal tax brackets, AKA, you make less than $41,675 a year, do you realize that your capital gains rate is actually zero so take advantage of the short-term profits in your investment account because you don't have to worry about taxes. So those are just three simple ways to take a look at maximizing your tax-exempt income, aka monies to the Roth IRA, especially through the back door, taking a look at what could be an insurance-related solution. In some unique situations, cash value insurance might make some sense. And then point number three, if you find yourself in a tax rate that actually has a 0% capital gains attached to it, why wouldn't you choose to fill that up and create some leverage? Craig, what do you think about using municipal bonds as a tax exemption? Well, in terms of other places to seek what I call tax exemption, uh, again, the most obvious clue is sometimes deceptive. In today's market, I would argue people up and down marginal tax brackets, there's a big arbitrage between tax exempt munis and taxable bonds. So when you look at the tax equivalent yield of municipal bonds today, it's incredibly attractive, again, at various marginal tax brackets. So Angie, that's a great point. I think people should look to really right size, their fixed income, or the bonds that are providing ballast in their portfolio, and consider embracing a diversified bucket of tax-free municipal obligations because those tax equivalent yields are very lucrative in today's marketplace. I'm Craig Bolanos, the CEO and founder of Wealth Management Group. If you'd like to learn more, you can check out our website, investwithwmg.com. Go to businessfirstam.com for where to see our show on TV.